What's going on, guys? If you're watching on YouTube, uh, we're here for another Modern Monday. If you're here on Twitch, which is uh, Twitch TV dot, Twitch TV slash Frank Lepore, welcome. Happy Sunday. Um, so we're playing a deck that longtime subscriber Iron Chef Sammy had sent to me. And he's like, I'm thinking of playing this deck. If I have this deck, I, have to, I want to play this Team Maroon deck, but I don't have any Jaces. Do you have any recommendations? What should I do? And I was like, uh, honestly, add Jaces. Get them. Invest in them. But uh, if you're not going to do that, if you're unable to do that, this is a list he was going to play tomorrow, he said. So I figured I would play it for him and see how it goes. And see if we can take a look at a, at a Teamer deck, a, a deck running blue and modern without Jaces. We have Bloodbraid Elf, we have Ancestral Origin, two previously banned cards in Modern. Supreme Will is kind of a nice counter spell because if you hit it with Bloodbraid Elf, you still get to cast it. And you get to look at the top four cards. Like it's like basically Bloodbraid Elf and Impulse. Same thing with Is It Charm. Uh, two counter spells that have uses outside of just countering things, which is nice. One Snapcaster Mage, kind of wish we had more. Static Suicide, thank you so much, man. Welcome. 30 months in a row. I was going to say welcome back, but 30 months is a, a bit much. You are awesome, dude. Uh, two Corsair, two Tireless Tracker, which are awesome three drops, by the way. Both of them having fours, forms of card advantage inherently. Got Blood Moon, uh, which is the obvious hit off of Bloodbraid Elf. Blood into Blood. Blood for Blood. That's what we can call this deck. We can call it Teamer Blood for Blood. That's a good name. And then we have Scavengers and Tarmogoyf as uh, some sizable threats. Do we have? We have one Raging Ravine, which is online if we don't have a Blood Moon, but sideboard pretty standard. You got counter spells. Uh, board wipes, control pieces, token pieces, artifact pieces. You got every, you got a little bit of everything here, which is nice. Graveyard stuff. So, uh, it's not a bit much. I think it's actually too little if you're if we're talking about subscriptions. You subscribe forever if you want. Uh, you know, I won't stop you. I'll encourage it. I'll actively encourage it. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's see how see how it goes. I guess. Let me make sure this overlay thing is working here real quick. <clears throat> and it is ah oh, the old duck list a classic Oh, this is a good one. This is a hand you want. All right. Looks like we're mulliganing. Mitch, we literally just went over this. Sammy did not have Jace's. Iron Chef Sammy, as many of you may know from the chat, uh, who has been a subscriber forever, did not have Jace's. So he asked me what I could do, what he could do instead. And I said, get Jace's. So he sent me the list he was going to play without Jace's, and we were going to try it out and see if it works. Oh my god, I just hit... We're off to a good start. I'm glad we're not on the play. If we can hit land, land, uh, we'll be good. <laughs> oh, this is why we come here, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we do what we do. That's not a land. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> Do we like shame scoop here? We uh we might have hit the wrong button here. Ooh. Oh man, good times, good times. Whew. 
All right, here we go. We're dead. This is how we died. Can you imagine if we sideboarded for Living End and they don't have... Oh, interesting. All right, maybe we're not dead. Oh, did it. So alive. Oh, maybe... What is this? What's going on here? Burning Tree Emissary and Street Wraith. I don't understand. Hmm. Okay. It's pretty unimpressive. This guy being a 4-4 is pretty problematic. We're going to bring an Ancient Grudge. I mean, we either use the mana and take two from this coming into play, or we just take... We're going to take two either way, so we might as well actually use the mana. Still not good. Still not good. Yeah, so the first thing I did say was like, ooh, this is a keepable hand. Maybe I did actually, like, juke myself out. Rainmaker, I have been watching all your YouTube videos for two months now. I feel like I'm friends with you and Mike. Just wanted to thank you for the content. You guys are hilarious, but why is Mike the way he is? You keep asking yourself, but to no avail. You are correct. You are correct. I don't know why he is the way he is. I ask myself that every day. Sometimes I'll just look at him. I'll stare at him for a while and uh, nothing. I don't really want to kill this because then you just get it back. That seems bad. I'll be honest, anything we draw here seems pretty bad. Yeah, all right, we're going to go to the next game. This was not an ideal... Uh, look, they didn't even say anything. They're probably like, yeah, whatever, idiot. Huh. What else do they have? I know they have the stupid uh, the Phoenix and the Hollow one, but that's all I know. You're right. It is a sign. I I wouldn't. I would never keep a, a hand like that in a Legacy Cube. I can't think of anything else we really care about there. There we go. Now we're keeping. Bloodgast and Vengevine, that's interesting. I can see that being a thing. Yeah, Mike is a good dude. Alright, now we get to actually do things this turn, which is nice. Let's just drop a Tarn. Let's crack it now so we're not like in some awkward searing vision, serum visions position. Uh, we're going to get a an island with this guy. We'll get a uh, mount, or a forest with this guy. So we actually have some sort of... Didn't really want that. Two copper line gorges is interesting. Oh, Street Wraith. Street Wraith, hollow one, hollow one. Okay. Well, you didn't discard any hollow ones, so that's pretty good for you. I imagine you have at least two in hand. There's one. And there's two. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's just narrate the games, I guess. Mm. 
If only this Tarmogoyf... If you discarded one of these guys, my Tarmogoyf would be bigger to block, big enough to block the other one. But since it's not, since you didn't... Since no instants or artifacts were discarded, that is unfortunate. I'm not sure Blood Moon is even good against this matchup. I guess we just take eight here. Losing a Tarmogoyf doesn't feel good. I mean, that was a hell of a Goblin Lore. You actually uh, don't discard either. It's pretty good. Hmm. It might have been better to just play Tarmogoyf into... Actually, I think I should have just played Tarmogoyf into Lightning Bolt. Makes them 4-5s, and then we have double 4-5 blockers, and we can kill this guy. I don't know if it's... Like, we're just going to double block block now. I can say with absolute certainty that you unconsciously hypnotize yourself there. Is the word unconsciously or should be subconsciously hypnotize myself? What's the what's the correct terminology? I always thought it was subconsciously, but more and more I see people using unconsciously. And that doesn't seem right. It seems like if you're doing something unconsciously, you have to be unconscious for that to take place. I'm really curious about that. I mean, I think if we survive this turn, we're in okay shape, but boy, it doesn't look good. Boy, this game was a, a, a mess from the beginning. I might have been unconscious. Unconscious. Oh my god, this looks real confusing. Peeber, love all the content. Thank you so thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. I will keep it up. Don't you tell me to keep it up. I will not. I'll never stop. I'll never stop keeping no land hands. Oh, they did have the venge vine. All right. Well, I guess our blocks are significantly worse now. Well, we get to draw some lands here. Hey. Wow, three lightning bolts. Is that enough? Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> I don't think so. We only have one red, too. Oh, that's unfortunate. Kill you. Block, block, block. Lightning bolt hit this guy. You know, kill, kill this guy. Block, block. We might be dead.
that'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, that's all you need. Unfortunate. We messed up a few times. Um, so the thing is, so one thing we're learning right now, uh, first off, when you have a hand with no lands in it, don't keep that hand. That's my first piece of advice for you. Uh, secondly, we prioritized getting a Blood Moon and getting basics for our Blood Moon against this deck, where I don't think that's actually extremely relevant. Uh, this is this is what happens when you first when you, for the first time you play against the deck. You don't really care about the Blood Moon. Blood Moon's not going to be your primary concern against a deck like this. And, um... Like, we should have just gotten the second red source. If we had a second red source, we can go kill this guy, kill this guy, and then we'd have two blockers. We'd still be in bad shape, but I think we would have been able to, uh... You know, being able to play your spells more efficiently, the spells you have, is probably where you want to be, I think. So, make sure you do that. Nevertheless, that, that round one seemed to go to a, uh, a bad pilot and not a bad deck. So we'll uh, consider that one a wash. Yeah, also the line where we just played Bloodbraid Elf because we were so excited about playing a Bloodbraid Elf. I think the line was actually play second 4-5 Tarmogoyf into Lightning Bolt. I will keep this hand. So that's another thing a lot of players make the mistake about doing. You want to... Mana efficiency is one of the uh, the most toted tenants in Magic. Like, you want to be efficient with your mana. I have four mana. If I use that mana, all of it, I you know, I'm being very mana efficient. But sometimes it's not the correct play, so... It's gonna be a it's gonna be a uh, fetch land on top because it always is. Wow. Nope. Guess you got it. <laughs> Astrid and I kept looking at each other, going, you realize us, you realize is English-speaking people do not use the word nevertheless. Yeah, English-speaking people. Let's go with that. I'm going to suspend this. We get Spreading Seas, but I like keeping Supreme Will up next turn, which we're going we're, we're gonna to be, we're gonna be have double, double Supreme Will next turn, so... I'm not too concerned with the Blood Crypt. I'm pretty sure English-speaking people use nevertheless. Oh, man, you guys are great. Wow, breeding pool. That I did not expect. Well, we're getting punished for not spreading seas, I guess.
Now I just feel like I have to keep up supreme well. Well, no one uses any word after every other sentence. Like, there's no word in the English language that people use after every other sentence. So, I mean, they could, he could have said any word. Uh, considering this is my second game ever with this deck, I, I would not be able to tell you how the Supreme Wills have been. We have just started playing. Interesting. They have one card in hand, that's pretty good. Oof. <sighs> Play you. Spreading sea is a dude. Can't keep you off red, so I guess we'll keep you off green. Red source incoming, maybe. Yep. Take the Supreme Will, I'd imagine. No? Blood Bread Elf, sure. Take both Blood Bread Elves. Nope. Okay. Well, Blood Bread Elf into... No attacks. Okay, well, pretty sure we're dead here to Liliana. Could have lightning bolted it. I don't think it's going to save us, though. So, I guess we'll just play both of these guys. Hope to get around this guy next turn. At least we have two guys now. And we get to draw three. Alright, so not terrible. Oh, interesting. We're hmm. getting back a Tarmogoyf, I guess. They're also at seven. Interesting. Well, we get to draw three. That's pretty good, unless they stubborn denial it, which they probably will. They did not. Wow, no lands, huh? Jesus. Brutal.
kind of just want to play Bloodbraid Elf and see what happens. Well, that's not terrible. We can attack them down to three. Sure. There are four, rather, and then we have Lightning Bolt in hand. Is this an island or a mountain? It's a mountain, so they have five mountains. It's pretty good. Yo, dog, we heard you like mountains. Mountains are my favorite land, so... Makes sense that they would all turn into mountains, I guess. Three is indeed very different than four. So we take mm, 14, go to 3, wow. Wow, if they can, if they can deal one more point to themselves we die, that's pretty funny. Or that, sure. Nice draw. Ah, uh, sigh. Mm House -hmm. of Shadow, two months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. What are you bored in against this matchup? Ancient Grudge is a Senecaster. They suck. The Sainful Stroke sucks. Thrag Tusk, maybe? What is Stroke Counter? Stroke literally just counters like Street Wraith, right? Like it does nothing. I felt the same way. I don't think Thrag Tusk is good, but I do like it. That's that's hilarious, actually. Those are my exact thoughts. I could board in a Thrag Tusk. I don't think it's a good choice, but I can do it. The DiGiorno quote? What's the DiGiorno quote? I didn't see anyone post that quote, which is why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. All right, let's play first.
Oh boy, here comes turn one. Thought sees. Solid choice. Put you to fourteen. You basically did. Pretty good. If you surgical extraction living end out of their deck, they just start hard casting their monsters and they kill you with them. So beware of that. I mean, we literally have to drop. Yeah. Not good. Meanwhile, they have 5 6 Tarmogoyf. Oh, that's cool. Hey, buddy, I see your uh, little, little hurt on lands here. Let me just kill your Noble Hierarch. That's cool magic. Even though there's nothing wrong with that play, and I can't begrudge anyone for making it, it still makes me a little salty. Because, like, come on. Really? All right, so good game. Good game, too. We had a good run. We're not dead. Maybe we top deck Lightning Bolt, right? What's it going to be? And I'll stubborn dial this, I'm sure. And once they stubborn dial this, we have no outs. Mm, they didn't. Okay. But they also put themselves to four, so... So if I just draw a lightning bolt, you die? Wrong red card. All right. Well, that was close. Watch. Next card's going to be a lightning bolt. Ready? Okay. It wasn't. But either way, that was closer than I would have expected.
Yeah, sure. We can plan around uh, this this blood moon now. We can get a forest and a an island or what have you. Oh my god. Welcome to the O2 bracket in the modern league, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, the Codex Shredder deck. I guess I could call it Lantern. I'm going to call it the Codex Shredder deck. Oh god, it never ends. This has been an uneventful, pretty unfun league, let's say. I'm going to grab a drink. Give me 2 seconds. This guy can take a this guy can wait. That was quick, I think. Um, yeah, I can't do anything about this. I don't know why I'm waiting. I was just trying to process everything. All right. <sighs> okay. That was not the right. We were going for a forest there, but Magic Online doesn't care. Gonna let us draw this, eh? Never. Yeah, didn't think so. Oh, wow, I forgot the four... Oh, this has been a nightmare, dude. This has been a misclicking nightmare. I apologize for everyone involved. Literally went to click a forest, but the... I'm gonna blame the interface because it's so small. Like, <laughs> good lord. Well, we're cracking this now to get a forest, which we should have done last turn, which we meant to do last turn. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm tilted, guys. Oh, this has not been a... I might do a different league after this. This has not been ideal. I'm, I feel really distracted as well. Uh, I can't switch to draft. I need videos for tomorrow for modern. So that is not an option right now. I will likely do some drafts later, but for now we are doing modern because we have to do modern videos tomorrow. Because we have a schedule. Oh, that's nice. They named Jason the Mind Sculptor with that. Oh, good. It's uh, Snaring Bridge. And that meant we could never win the game. I don't think we have a way to deal with that, to be quite honest. So, what if I target them and give them three cards? There you go, you can have them, you stupid idiot. How 
How unconventional. I haven't even seen a message from Robert in probably years. It's been years. So it'd be funny because we can actually cast this Corsair of Crufix if we got the correct basic land out of our deck, but you know, here we are. Uh, it doesn't hit me. There's four mana dorks. There's also Tarmogoyfs, there's Spreading Seas, there's Supreme Will, there's Blood Moon, there's Corsair of Crufix. Why would it just hit mana dorks all the time? That doesn't even make any sense. It literally has four mana. There's only four Noble Hierarchs. That's the only mana dork in the deck. I mean, the deck is literally on the screen. You can literally click on the little overlay and check out the deck. You don't have to just assume it's a specific deck. <laughs> yeah, these Noble Hierarchs are actually a threat now. Yeah, unfortunately we're at a point now where we'll just, we'll just never get that fourth Noble Hierarch, but they are on a clock now, so... Needle named Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, just another perk of not having Jace the Mind Sculptor in our deck. They also have no colored lands right now, which is great, because their Academy Ruins is shut off, their Spire is shut off. If they draw Inventors... Fair, that's shut off. Yeah, deck looks fun. I mean, I have no problems with the deck so far. It's just, it's not even, it's not working out for me. I'm just messing up left and right. Um, this is my first time piloting the deck, and I also wasn't, I'm not like, it's, so like, whenever I'm like, kind of tilted and making misplays, it's always amplified a ton by, by chatting, by like, interacting with the chat, because I'm just, it's, it, I'm already like, having a hard time concentrating, and then I just, it just amplifies that, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. And that's not to make excuses at all. Like it's, it's my fault, you know, 100%. But I'm just saying, I'm just trying to explain why. Um, we can't cast Corsair because we don't have a second green source. Actually, we can cast Corsair. 
You're right. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just miss these obvious things because I'm not even really paying attention. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm just not focused right now. I'm just like, I, my head is somewhere else right now. So I apologize to you guys, especially because you're watching. But yeah, I totally forgot about the second Noel Hierarch. What are you getting back? War of Inve Mox Opal? I don't know if I understand what's happening. Do you need... Oh, you need, like... What do you need? I don't understand. Oh, Rupt Decay for, like, Blood Moon? Sure. I guess that's a thing. Well... Oh, I'm sure this is the real this is the real Frank Laporte. You can definitely tell because he's playing terribly. He's just playing absolutely terribly right now. All right, so I mean, it doesn't matter what we draw. Like, if we shuffle and not draw another Goyf, we're not we're just we're not going to draw something good instead. They're just going to mill it. Like, they have Codex Shredder, they have Double Lanterns. Like, it's not it's not going to happen. So we're in your upkeep. You get to draw Inquisition. So our last Noble Hierarch is a threat. Lightning Bolt is a threat. Our one Snapcaster Mage is a threat. Bloodbird Elf into Snapcaster Mage is a threat. We do have a couple outs here. And you're milling me. That's unfortunate. So I have no cards in hand and no uh, Inventor's Fair, which is nice. Like an Academy Ruin, something on the top. Codex Shredder, sure. <laughs> I assume we're just going to... Yep. Raging Ravine, that's a thing, I guess. To you again. Put you to one. Okay. War of Invention. Does that do anything for you? I don't think so. So you have a War in hand? The little War that could? What do you search for? What do they search for with War of Invention? Pirate Spell Bomb? What does that do? Kills one noble hierarch. This guy costs five. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yep. All right. So we were correct. Oh, they just killed the one we attack with. Buys them a turn, and then we kill the other one. Well, that's unfortunate. Yes, I'm well aware they have ruins to get it back, which is why I said kill the other one. Well, I don't drink, so I'm probably not swapping it for beer, but... 
Appreciate the suggestion either way. Did they not get it back? I guess they could codex one, two, three, four, five, codex shredder, put it on top, activate with Mox Opal. Sure. Yep. Yep, it'd be great if there wasn't a land on top at some point, but not yet. Still dead. Yep. So long, little noble hierarch. I mean, they still have to win the game, right? Like, they can't just not win. They, like, I'm not going to scoop here because any lightning bolt is lethal. Any blood braid elf into lightning bolt is lethal. We have snapcaster is lethal. I'm not sure what the word is, but I feel like you're just insulting me now, so that's cool. Well, that is unfortunate. Boy, if only I had a way to get rid of these ensnaring bridges. So they have no cards in hand. Putting Codex Shredder back on top, sure. Yeah, but not only does it overload our ability to stop their top card, like, not only is that the only way, like, we also have to make sure the top card that we end on is relevant, and it's just not, the odds are definitely not there. Well, we're definitely cracking to get rid of that, because... So, we have to hope, we have to crack and then hope that the, the next two cards are relevant. See, that's not one of them. So we get to just get to draw that. That's unfortunate. Sure. And they're also going to gain, slowly gain life here, which is frustrating. Sure, you got it. Enjoy the fourth Tarmogoyf. Interesting. Well, we're definitely not drawing that, that's for sure. Spreading seas. Oh, it's frustrating because then they just actually get rid of it. Yep. They just Pixis this. Unfortunate. I'm just gonna go to the next game. If we put bolts of envisions on, no, if they like.
what does seize the what does the seize drawing visions do? Like four turns we draw some cards. I don't know. That just meh. Um, I just rather save my time and do something else. Blood Moon actually seems good here. Yeah, they have Academy. They can just keep putting cards on top. I think Cryptic and, and Ancient Grudge come in. I'm just not sure what to bring out. Probably Lightning Bolts are pretty bad. Staticaster doesn't shoot their face. It just only shoots creatures. So we're definitely not winning with a Staticaster. I mean, unless you, unless you mean attacking, but, I mean, we have to have Noble Hierarchs at that point, which, I mean, we can just attack with Noble Hierarchs. Um, also, Disdainful Stroke literally only counters War of Invention, and that does not seem good enough for, for me. I'd rather just have Ancient Grudges, which is just better. Uh, I don't know why I throw in. I, can, I guess I could throw in this... Uh, Supreme Will it has to do with Bloodbird Elf. It's a counter spell that you can actually hit with Bloodbird Elf and still be able to do something with. So, Spreading Seas, putting it on something like Academy Ruins or Inventor's Fair seems a lot better than Lightning Bolt, in my opinion. Because they have some extremely relevant lands. Oh, groan. Wow. For one. Interesting. Sure. Just let me draw this guy. Uh, we didn't get a basic island there because we have literally two noble hierarchs on the board. <laughs> like, there's just no reason to not have a red source when I don't have blood moons. I, I have mountain in hand, but I would rather have multiple sources of multiple colors at the moment because we don't have a blood moon. So I'm not going to plan around a blood moon. Hmm. 
no way I'm drawing this Bloodbird Elf, right? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because we can't. We can no longer attack. But now we're gonna. Do you want us to have this Blood Moon? Is that what you want? It's all about you, buddy. Well, actually, we could hit a land off the top, and we're only gonna attack with one Noble Hierarch, so. Yep, didn't think so. Oh, they exiled their own card. That's interesting. Oh, it's each player. Oh, so did we just have Blood Moon on Blood Moon? That's pretty funny. How lucky. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, the cryptic command we don't have in hand, and we didn't. We we, we, we don't, it's not castable. You're right. Nailed it. Positive. Positive commentary. Oh look, cryptic command is now castable. <laughs> How sweet. Wow, infinite bloodbraid elves apparently. Boy, if we if we we hit that ancient grudge, we're in good shape. This is like the best noble hierarch matchup ever. Oh, this guy. Oh, now we can play a Raging Ravine, too? That's pretty good. Noble Hierarch MVP this game. Good old fashioned forest. Can't attack, can't attack, can't attack. Oh, Corsair of Kerfix can attack now. I mean, there's no way they don't have anything. But. Or do they? Sure. I mean, at worst, they get mocks here and then just play the mocks, so. Yep. Land. Play land. Cryptic command. Yeah, we're not gonna we're never gonna be able to draw that cryptic command. So we'll just play this. How lucky. The clock is now at two. Oh, got him. Wow, what a, what a time to be alive. All right, so no good, no good. I mean, we got our things. Disdainful stroke, if only this was three or more, I'd be real, I'd be real happy with it. 
It's your boy Tom. What's going on, buddy? I watched about a billion of your vids on YouTube and never live. I watched the epic gut shot earlier on just to get nice, dude. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna actually keep this hand because Visions on deck seems good. Yes, word for one is still four, but I'm not going to bring in a disdainful stroke that only is literally only good against one single card that they don't even really need. It's just that's not good sideboarding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I actually just want to go forest into noble hierarch here. Um, I don't actually know the deck I have the most fun with. Wow! Oh, look at that. Things just got real. Well, we're not going to overextend here, I guess. Actually, in game one, we got to... Oh, wow. You're just getting super aggressive here. Did you just kill my noble hierarch straight up? All right, well, this is a good hand for you. I guess it's on top, so. Yes, in the gut shot game, I definitely thought I was stabilizing and that I was very close to winning that game, or at least turning around. Like, I felt like I was in a, in a position to win the game. Um... So yeah, when he just drew gut shot off, off the top, it was a little a little surprising, but that's magic. So you have no you have one card in hand. We're definitely not going to play this guy. Uh, no, no one actually had any idea how good the new Eldrazi were. I think some teams, some teams did, like a couple teams did, but most most people did not have any idea how good the Eldrazi were. Uh, I was literally just in the hotel room on Wednesday night, playing random decks that I could find that five owed leagues. One of them was a Sultai Eldrazi deck, and it felt like everything I ever wanted to do in modern. It had Eldrazi, which were cool, and it had. That's interesting to me. And it was Sultai, and it was not conventional, so pretty much everything I've ever wanted. Feel free to kill this noble hierarch if you'd like. Looks like you're running low on resources. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Spire and Shores on top. Pretty sure we're exiling here. I don't think they want me... Oh, that's a good one. Are we shuffling libraries, buddy? Yes, we are. <laughs> so long. Oh, that's funny. Oh, what up, Git V? Good seeing you, buddy. Um, all right, all right. I feel like we have a game here. Well, less so now, but how many counters we got in here? Two? I feel like it's safe time to pop the other one here. I like spreading them out because I don't want to draw a million cards and not have anything to do with them, so. All right, well, you have a Tarmogoyf to deal with. I don't know what you're drawing, though, because you just shuffled, so. You also only have two mana sources, three mana sources. It's not terrible. I am going to get a third blue source here because we have Cryptic Command. Uh, the only thing I can get that wouldn't be affected by Blood Moon is a forest. So we're just going to get a Steam Vents. And we already have three forests, so. 
That's not bad. It's not great, but it does a thing, so. Okay. Oh, no idea what I'm getting, though. Could be anything. Could be a boat. Oh, they're just going to whir for... No, they can't whir for ensnaring bridge. Oh, yeah, they can. Triple blue. Yeah, they could do that. Cool. Now you do it? Oh, because in case I get an ancient grudge. Yeah, that makes sense. All of this is making sense now. Yep, pretty good. Uh, bottom both of these. Yep, good old ensnaring bridge every game. So what if we actually, we're not, I just, I, this time I think we're definitely giving ourselves the cards. If they didn't have Padim, oh, they have Hexproof? Oh, God. So we put you to three cards anyway, Tarmogoyf can't attack, Bloodbird Elf is not really impressive. They could Pirate Spell Bomb if they, eh, they don't have the mana. Well, I'm not going to target him with Vision here. Like, we get one activation. We get one attack with a Bloodbird Elf. They could just go to seven. Giving them three cards and putting them to seven is not... That is not a, a reasonable... Oh, we're still in upkeep. All right. Let's get another island here for cryptic command's sake. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Keeping both of these up. Sure, digging from Blood Moon actually does much. I mean, I want to dig for something though. This guy's real problematic, unfortunately. Good old land before core. I'm not playing course with this turn. <laughs> like, what's your problem, man? Like, you criticize everything, you'd have no positive contributions to the chat. It's very comical. Uh, just noble hierarch here and just eat their graveyard things. Noble's not bad. They do, I mean, like, we know they have pyroclasm in the deck. I almost like spreading seas here. I think all three of these are, are options. Like, scavenging use is, is able to get a lot of things. Um, <laughs> land before the card you're not going to play this turn oh good one you caught me I guess I'll just never play lands again until I play the Courser uh, is this scavenging is like I don't think any of these cards actually put us that far ahead because of the ensnaring bridge and like Padim we just have to get rid of the Padim it might just be an old hierarch <sighs> but they do like the problem is they have pirate spell while I'm in play so it's like yes noble exalt gets around the can attack that's how we won the first game <laughs> and almost won the second game yeah you can dislike me going to second main before seeing what i'll get with supreme but the the thing is i wasn't sure what i was going to do then so that was just me hastily clicking through phases um the problem is noble hierarch doesn't do much on a board of pirates bell bomb. like they're just going to kill one of them and not even think twice about it so 
I'm gonna go with Scavenging Use. I think it's just a better card here. Academy Runs is a good one. Really? Lantern of Insight. So the problem is if we... If we exile that, they can shoot the scavenging ooze. I'll take that risk. You're welcome to do that. No. Interesting. Okay. Scavenging News lives to fight another day. Did it. Let's get this dude out of pirate spell bomb range, and then we'll just exile your opal. Oh, that's a good question. They have zero cards in hand. They'll go to three. We can only attack with these three guys. It doesn't seem great. I think the cards are just better for us at this point. Yeah, cryptic command seems pretty good here. We do have to play quick though. Um, suspend you. Can't attack with anyone here. Play a goif, I guess. Green, blue. Sure. I mean, Hexproof is still a thing. Like, we can bounce the Padim and then try to hit, like, an Ancient Grudge. Sure. Oh, another Ensnaring Bridge. That's pretty good. What's up, Cess Uh Okay, you got the got the Ensnaring Bridge. And Abrupt Decay on top. Everybody wins. Double ensnaring bridge. One, two, three, not enough. Okay. Yeah, just draw the card. Yeah, okay. We'll see if we can draw this. No, you don't want me to have that? It's probably better than whatever else we could draw here, I guess. So, we'll take that. Serum Vision. Uh, bottom both of these guys, because they're not doing what we want them to do. 
way around. One, two, three, four. Just Bloodbraid Elf here. I always yield to Cascade, don't care. Uh, cast. Serum Visions. Put on bottom. Put on bottom. Do they have anything they can get rid of that with? Yes, they do. All right, so we're going to actually try to draw in response if they try to do some shenanigans. And you gotta you gotta use your lantern here. There's no way you let me have that. So Yep. Get shuffled on. Draw a land. Yep, just gonna pass here. I don't really foresee us having any interaction here. Get rid of this guy, and then we can have six here. And if there's a card on top, we actually have Cryptic Command, which is nice. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Might as well hit it though. Yeah, we have three minutes to win this game. Seems unlikely. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, we still have to get rid of the Padim, but we can bounce the Padim and then Ancient Grudge your life away. That seems good, right? Can you actually, do you have any way to recast a Padim here? Mountain, 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 no. Oh, they have three ensnaring bridges? Come on, dude. Yeah, you don't get blue, buddy. Yeah, I think we just won this game. Spreading seas doesn't matter. It's Blood Moon came down after, so timestamps say it's a mountain, not an island. Come on. Stop it. We have two minutes. Like, stop messing around. Stop playing around! Um, you have no blue sources? Oh, you have this this guy. So we're actually going to kill this guy. Sure. Pirates bubble. -bomb. You got it.
One, two, three, four, five, you have six mana? Sure. I don't know what that does. All right, I think we did it. Achievement unlocked. All right, whoo. Oh, that was a miserable match. Oh my God. Oh God. Wow. Oh my God. It's just not fun, especially because of the time. Like your, your clock is just running down because like this deck takes, what, what turn was that even? I wish I could look at return to game. It's gone. All right. I wish I could see what turn that was. Like, oh, turn 76. Well, at least I feel a little bit, uh... A little bit better, I guess. Alright, cool. It said turn 12? That doesn't seem accurate at all, dude. Lantern is not super fun to play. That is a false statement. Uh, what do I do for a living? I stream and I make gaming content. That's literally what I do for a living. This guy. I will counter it with my remand. I will let him live. I will path to... Actually, that's pretty good. Let's get an island. <laughs> I like going into Burger King, and I'm like, hey, man, what do you do for a living? The guy, the guy at the cashier, I'm like, what do you do for a living, buddy? Tell me about your job. Do we think they have spell pierce? Do we care? I don't know. Let's get a forest. Moonya. Oh, all right. So now you got now you're running the the old the old red blue deck the old red, yeah. That's what I. Yeah, Blood Moon's a thing, man. You are not wrong. What is it gonna be? Oh, next turn that thing that thing un unchecks. Let's do this guy. Let's do all the dirty things in modern. Oh, look at this guy, another blue. That's great. And we get to attack for four. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, they got the planes too, man. Why can't they just not play that? Did you ever think about that opponent? And they're all like, joke's on you, I'm playing Jess guy. <laughs> oh, wow. What's it like being this rude? I'm going to spread all your seas. <laughs> okay, well. I will definitely be drawing three cards. I will not be letting you have these. So, don't even try it, buddy. So, what do we got? We got one green source. It's fine. 20, 20 legacy cube drafts on YouTube? I think we can do that. Blood Moon is more oppressive than Lantern. I don't know about all that, but, you know, 
it's not out of the realm of possibility, let's say. Get in there. Always yield. Yield every single time. Oh god, you're gonna path to exile my guy? What if I asked you to not do that? Is that an option? I do get another basic, though. I like that. I li like basics. Uh, what do you got? Three cards in hand? Now I'll just keep my four power guy. Do you like the legacy or the vintage cube draw? Oh, that's actually a good question. I'm not actually sure. Um, my problem is that I like both. I like that they do different things, right? Like the legacy cube is more fair and you get to play more fun mid range games. Usually the games last longer. You don't lose to like one particular broken interaction or, or so. Um, um, Actually, I'm just going to pass here. I don't feel like getting Wrath of Godded or Damnation if they draw another white source. Um, but I do like I like the Vintage Cube because you can do broken things, and that's really cool. And you feel less bad when you lose the broken things because you're like, well, you know, I knew what I signed up for, you know? So. What kind of stuff is Twitch doing? It's not on my end. I haven't dropped a single frame, you guys. Oh my god, what are you doing with your life? All my all my lands are red though, so that's fine. You're just making cryptic commands so much easier to cast. Ooh, Legacy Q has more consistent fun, Vintage Q has more peak fun. I think that's a great description. I can get behind that description. Oh, it's your boy. BBE. So we're going to go green, blue, red, blue, I guess. Play this this hot dude. Yeah, I'll cast the Serum Visions. Not exciting, but still decent. I'll put you on the bottom. I don't have two green at the moment, so I'm going to put you both on the bottom. And we'll hit another Bloodbraid Elf. I'm okay with all these things. Don't you wish your Bloodbraid was hot like me? Was it a two-turn clock? Oh, searching for Azcanta, eh? I see. I know your type. So we have a, a mountain. This is actually hard to keep track of what lands we have. What is this, a forest? I think this is an island. Maybe? I don't know. What are you targeting? I'll probably just lightning bolt whatever you target. I mean, whichever one. I know you're obviously targeting Bloodbraid Elf. Could have also is it charmed, but I think that's more versatile. So, and we get to win. We get to win with double Bloodbraids next turn if they don't have anything else. They have two cards. I don't think they have anything else. Bold, a bold, a bold statement. This guy. All right, so what is this? Red, blue. Okay, it's hard to it's hard to keep track. So red, green, red, blue, and then we have a red and a blue and a blue and a blue. I guess we can leave two red up. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't think we care. I'm just trying to win with Bloodbraid Elves. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to Bloodbraid here. Look at that. Tireless Tracker, and we did. Now, this is a time where you can reprimand me for playing my land first because there's really no reason to do it unless we want to represent Cryptic Command. But. Did we win this game? Did these Blood Braids get in there? Wow, those are good dudes. Got him. Got him. Don't you wish your Blood Braids were hot like me? Oh, don't you wish your blood bands were... So they have Detention Sphere. That's the thing we care about. We just have Ancient Grudge, though. I guess the run is good. Cryptic Commands are good. We're going to play the longer game, I guess. I think Bloodbraid Elf is actually stronger than, than Jace.
And lightning bolts are pretty mediocre. So we'll take out two of those bad boys. Spreading seas is good on like their the the, the celestial colonnadios that they undoubtedly have. I actually like our deck. I think our deck is good. I don't think it's anger. I don't think Graftigger's Cage is great, even if they have Snapcaster, because it's literally I don't like I don't like boarding in one card. Uh, that only shuts off one of their cards. That doesn't seem good to me. If they have one enchantment in their deck, I don't want to board an enchantment removal. Unless it's like Leyline, which shuts down all of like a burn deck. Um, Thrag Tusk could be good here. I could see bringing in Thrag Tusk. But what do we take out? Like the hardest thing has been taking things out. I also think that Graftigger's Cage, it's like Scavenger Use, just fulfills a similar role. I can think out all these. I can see just bringing in Thrag Tusk. Lightning Bolt's nice to like finish the deal, like like finish them off. But I mean, I'd rather just have a bigger dude that they either need to counter or deal with. He's also good against like Wrath of God stuff like that. This hand is actually good. We'll keep it. I want to get an island here, but I also want to play Corsair of Crucifix. So it's a real it's a real toss up here. If we get another fetch land, I can get an island. Okay, I see what you're doing here doesn't feel like island is correct even though we have blood moon i feel like it's got to be a breeding pool also we've seen detention fear and spreading sea so it's nice that uh We could shut their hollow fountain down. I don't know if that's great though. What are we getting here? Breeding pool? We want a blue green. Yeah, we'll just get a breeding pool. Pfft, really? This is how you're gonna be? It's just spreading seas, scavenging news, or visions here. I don't think it's scavenging news. We can play scavenging news at a later date when we have actual things to do. It might just be Ancestral Vision followed by Steam Vents. I don't think I care about the white source when we don't have. Like, I'd rather just save Spreading Seas for like a colony or something. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. What are the odds this Corsair resolves? It's got to be 100%, right? That's not a land at all. I noticed you drink almost solely Coke Zero. Have you tried the new Diet Coke flavors? No, I have not, actually. Okay, so when I go to the store, I don't actually only drink... When I drink Coke specifically, I only drink Coke Zero. Um, But as far as sodas go, I'll drink any pretty much any diet soda, as long as it's, it's decent. Um, But yeah, when I go to the store, whatever Publix has BOGO, like they'll have six of these for like BOGO, and I'll just be like, all right, I'll get, I'll get 12 for five bucks or whatever, so... Oh, that was a good land. Let's do the damage. People actually say BOGO. Yeah, well, when it's literally buy one, get one. Why would I say buy one, get one when I can just say BOGO? People call people call collected company Coco. Like, um, so, so I have no problem saying BOGO when people are saying Coco. Like, just that ain't that ain't happening. 
Um, what's going on here? What are we doing? If you want a pro tour, you get a tattoo of the entire deck list somewhere. Um, probably not. I also don't plan on winning a pro tour anytime soon, so maybe sure I'll say yes. I would get, if I win a pro tour, I'll get it. I'll get the, the deck tattooed on myself. That's that'll that's what I'll do. I don't want to walk into a wrath of God with a throne without mana up. So maybe I'll just pass. Keep up cryptic command. Next time we can play uh, serum visions. I'm okay with that. Wow. Why do you do this? Why you do this? I guess that's okay. Because next turn, we can keep up Throne. Okay. Okay. Also, we, they have three mana up, so I don't think a Cryptic Command is going to resolve against them. If you 5 0 MCG logo, you tattoo the deck list on you. Okay, so now our stakes are a little bit lower, so I don't think so. Um, I do appreciate you asking that, though. I like that you're trying to find the, the levels here. I actually don't say Bogo Ho if it's buy one, get half off. Because um, that doesn't happen frequently enough for me to use that acronym, and it also just doesn't sound right. So, those are my reasons. I'm going to sacrifice this guy, get another forest. Look at all our beautiful lands. My god. You're inconsistent. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Is this any basic? Sacrifice uh, any land? Oh, it's non-basic, so we can actually keep the forest. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, throne. Throne, 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 throne. I hope they try to counter this. That'd be great. What if you 5-0-10-0 comp league? Then will you get the tattoo? Oh, man. Um, I don't think so. If we can crowdfund to get me to a GP and then a PT and then pay every opponent to lose, um, I feel like that's going to be an extremely high goal. Might as well play something. Oh, we keep, we're keeping Regenerate Man up, right? Because I guess it doesn't matter if they have Day of Judgment or Wrath of God. Or Wrath of God specifically. Day of Judgment you can regenerate from. What? Why Why you do this? Well, now I'm just getting a Mountain. I would have bet someone $100, Thrun cost 5 mana. I wish you told me that... I wish you told me that, like, two seconds earlier, because I would have taken that bet. If it's buy one, get one half off Wednesday only, do you say Bogo ho wo No. Well, if I don't say Bogo ho I'm not going to say Bogo ho wo because that's just excessive, right? Wow, I wish I could do something about that guy. That is a beautiful chicken. That's for sure. Oh, I forgot this was uh, suspended. Oh, look, we get to draw some cards. I totally forgot about you. <laughs> All right. Things to do. Attack for five. That's a thing to do. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll have seven mana. We want to keep four up. We could go... Noble Hierarchy, keep up Is It Charm, keep up Cryptic Command. Four, five, six, seven. That actually seems good. Let's do that. Time to race, boys. Don't you wish your Oju tie was hot like me? Don't you? 
What if we Cryptic Command bounce draw a card? Is that good? I guess we can let them have their card. Maybe. I don't know if I want to take the damage. I'd rather than just replay it. One, two, three, four. And we're going to get a Steam Vents with this guy. Oh, we got to need another blue. So I guess we're going to go blue. Blue, blue, blue. Kapow. See you later, chicken. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Don't you wish your BOGOs were on sale like me? BOGO is buy one, get one. So if you buy a sheet of paper and they give you one for free, that is a piece of paper BOGO. It's not very good. That, that particular deal is not very good. Let's get a Steam Venturino. No, I don't want that. Oh, KFlix, thank you so much for the 25 bits. Son of a bits. Oh, let's just go with greens here. We'll go green, green, like this. Play this guy. Play this guy. Always yield to that. Well, I'll be a biscuit. Get in there. Okay, so seriously, I actually thought of that when I said it. I was like, wow, I've been watching a lot of Office. Everything is paper. I sing like Dunder Mifflin songs when I'm just driving around. It's really, it's not good. Um, Put you on the bottom. I'll put you on top. And then I'll draw you. Oh. Um, interesting. I'll put you on the bottom. I'll put you on top. I don't think the other guy is really where we want to be right now. But I like where we're at right now. I think they're going to flip this guy. Don't you wish your chicken was hot like me? I can't see links. If you guys ever want to send me links, just send them to me on Twitch. Don't you wish your chicken was hot like me? Hot chicken. We're at eight, but you're dead on board? Okay. Dunder Miff. Then the people versus paper people. <laughs> I don't hate it. I just don't like anything about it. Uh, American Office. American Office OP. Sorry. I know there's those guys who there's. The, I, th I bet there's people out there who are like, the 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 British Office is uh, the only true office. Thank you. And then to those people, I'm just like, this is basically the same people who are like, the book is better than the movie. And it's like, no, dude. Well, this is obnoxious. Actually, they gain no like if we crack this and go to five. Blah. Ain't nobody got time for that. But we do lose our bread, our bread braid elf. Do we even want to do that? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't want them to gain the life, so I might as well crack it, all right? And then we can double shoot Ojitai, I guess. Sure. Bogo rolls off the tongue, and it's actually, it, it, it's a word, whereas BBE is just three letters that is very, actually, it's not, it's not easy to say. Um, the British version has much more emotional and dramatic depth of character. <laughs> That's, nailed it. Nailed it. Can I just try to kill these three individual guys? Is there a way to do that?
Please always yield to that guy. I don't care. Oh, interesting. Sure. Yep. Another island. All right. They're just giving us all kinds of mana now. Oh, boy. That's a good one. Wow, this is a stack hand. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit this dude. Hit him again. Hit him again. Oh, a negate. I say nay. Do you have a dispel too? That'd be pretty good. Put your put your chicken in the garbage. Nope, that ain't that ain't what we're doing. We're just gonna play you. And then we're gonna eat your chicken to gain a life. Oh, uh, we're not doing either, actually. We're gonna play this guy to get rid of Dragon Lord Ojutai. Uh, and if they do have, like, Wrath of God or something, we have Bloodbird Elf. So, that's pretty cool. I don't really care about Blood Moon, because they only have, like... They lose one White Source in an Escanta. And if they're spending their turns using Escanta, like, it's... It's already too late. Yeah, we're just going to tap out here. I'm fine with it. Our hand is great. If they go draw a card, Wrath of God, they have no... It's 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 parody. Yep, and they are Wrath of Godding because you can tell they're just suiciding their gentlemen. They have two cards. We have a Blood Buried and a... We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play all three of these. Sure. One, two, three. Thunder Mifflin. Cast. What do you do? What what what's your what's your cryptic command target? Let's find out. Is this guy resolved too? Seems good. There it is. Well, that's pretty good because now we just get to play Moon. Uh, let's go green. This guy. Tarmogoyf. And Moon. Look at my islands. If you could be any fruit, what would you be and why? That's a good question. Um, is there any merit to being a durian? A durian fruit? Because... I feel like you'd be left alone. False. Black bear. Okay, that's a good point. So they have five islands, one plains, and one and three mountains. I'm I'm down to clown. What do you get here? Timely reinforcements? That's pretty good if you get that. You want those three nerds? Cryptic command. One, two, three, four. Okay. She took the midnight train. What? That was interesting. Going anywhere. Just a city boy. 
Born and raised in South Detroit. Took the spreading seas on your only planes. Oh my goodness, we're so good at this game. I feel like that's the end. You have mountain you have three mountains up? Oh got him. Doing it. We're doing it. We got a lot better once uh once we got our groove on. We're basically Stella. And this is how we got it back. Um, I actually, so if you guys are interested, I do, I do do deck critiques and things. You can check out the, the, there's a, there's a, a description in my Twitch profile for them. Um, I get a ton of requests. So if you guys ever want to commission me to do something like that, I will play the deck in a league. Uh, I will give you feedback on it and I'll make some changes to it and give you my opinion on things like that. That's just a way that you guys can support the stream. If you'd like, uh, I will play first. This hand's actually good. Hey, that's pretty good. A deck boutique? Um, well, those are a little more expensive because you have to get the storefront. You have to you have to rent. You have to buy the land. Um, it, I don't know if I I'm I'm ready for that kind of commitment, but I do appreciate the interest. You know what I mean? So, you know, know what I'm saying? I don't know why spreading seas. This isn't even my deck. Aether vial. Oh, look at this. Onslaught planes into masterpiece Aether Vial. Oh, you fancy. Is this guy coming down? Probably, because then we just kill whatever they play. We're not going to be able to kill... Um, If they play a dude here, we're not going to be able to kill that or counter it. So, I mean, we can kill it, but I can just kill it next turn. So, I'll just do that. And we get Supreme Will up. I'll just play no one time buff. I don't think that's... I don't think that's a real threat to me. Two mana, oh, one mulligan this garbage is right, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Would you look at that little cutie? Now I get this to, to, to kill it. Give me a red source. Any red source. Well, that's not what I asked for, but I do appreciate... I appreciate that it's there, you know? Took the midnight train going anywhere. Give me that two, three. And in the distance, you could hear a dog named Hunter chasing his tail. I'm gonna put a one drop into play. No, you're not. My Tarmogoyf brings on... Why is no one playing BBA into Living End with a bunch of cycle creatures? I don't know. Second main Aether Vial, eh? Rattle Chains. That seems like a... I'm intrigued. Uh-huh. What? 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 That was not a pro play. That was not what we're looking to do there. That was that was actually amazing. Now we have a three four. I uh, I wholeheartedly support the thing you just did. This is what you're gonna do? Path to exile, my guy. I actually want the land. Weirdly enough, you can do that, and then I'll just play Tarmogoyf number two. What were your impressions on my list at first glance? Um, I didn't actually, I didn't look at enough. I look at I didn't look at it enough. I'll be honest with you. You'll be here though. We'll be we'll talk about it. And next time we get the blood braid now. I wanted a second mountain because we can go lightning bolt and play a green thing. Not gonna not gonna not gonna not gonna block that, that's for sure. This is at three, so you could have spell queller. That's pretty rough. I think we just attack here. Maybe we ancestral vision. 
Uh, with the, the Curious Obsession says, at the beginning of your end step, if you didn't attack with a creature this turn, sacrifice it. They did not, so they sacrificed it. That was an Office Space reference, that is correct. I have no desire to play a Bloodbraid Elf into a Spell Queller. I guess you, Drog Skull Captain? Yeah, not, not even going to survive a little bit. The last thing I want you to do is untap second Drog Skull Captain. Terminal Blood Moon. I would definitely Terminal Blood Moon. Should I call you your name or should I call you Terminal Blood Moon? What's easy? What's better for you? I don't know. I don't know if people want to maintain their anonymity on Twitch. Bloodbraid Elf into Queller. I mean, like if we go if we go Bloodbraid Elf, they go to Spell Queller it. Um, they can counter either thing. If we kill the Spell Queller, no, because yeah, it's actually Spell Queller does say cast, so. Interestingly enough, you would. So, Brandon, I will definitely take a look at the deck. If you want to donate, that is super cool. I really, I would really appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, if you want to, I can definitely take a serious look at the deck and maybe we can try it out in a league because that sounds like it'd be okay. I like trying other people's decks out in leagues more than I like playing, like, 5-0 lists because I feel like that gives me more personal leeway to lose. Like, if I lose, I'm like, okay, we're just testing this out. We're trying to – here it is. Here's a spell call that we were afraid of just in case you guys are curious. Man, they didn't even wait to see what I hit. Nailed it. But we do have we do have Snapcaster and a Lightning Bolt. So our fear is mitigated. Oh, a spreading seas. Alright. No more planes for you, buddy. Hit a land? Hey, we did hit a land. Ah, we could have played it first. I thought there was a land in the graveyard, but I'm just I play too fast. I would be a much better magic player. If I didn't play as fast as I do. Keep that in mind. Oh, we'll be we'll be killing that the spell queller. Don't don't get me wrong. That will be happening. Also, I feel like this is an anger of the gods situation. Like this is why I actually I do better in um yes, thank you, Matthew. I literally just said that. <laughs> um Yeah, so this is why I actually do better in paper magic than I do in online magic. Because I actually don't play this quickly. But, you know, I don't care. I don't have anything to prove, so we're just having a good time. Having a good time. I like that you had me on mute, but you're still going to correct my plays. That's funny to me. Because you're not even listening to the things I'm saying. You're just like, oh, he did something wrong, i got to correct him. That's funny to me. That's That's not good. That's bad news. Backseat gaming for life. All right, so we're going to get a second green. What do we want? Stomping? No, we actually probably want... It's either Steam Vents or... No, it's either a Breeding Pool or Stomping Ground. I think it's Stomping Ground here. Do we get to draw yet? Oh, I want two more? God, it feels like... It feels like a year ago I suspended that thing. We're actually... This is actually a little bit more scary than I'd like it to be. One, two, three. We can actually play Snapcaster Lightning Bolt this guy. And then just keep up Supreme Will. Which is pretty good, I guess. But they're not really going to hard cast anything. They also have one card in hand. We just don't want to die, is really what we're getting at here. So we can go to seven, and then we take four. I mean, if the last card is Rattle Chains, I think we're actually dead. We could also Blood Braid. I don't know if that's great. I'm going to snap and then just kill this guy. Drog Skull Captain is probably one of the scarier cards in the deck. I wish we had another Burn spell, but... So this is four damage. We're just gonna actually take this because it doesn't actually it does it does affect the clock, but 
We put them to eight, and we have a blood braid next turn. Yeah, I wasn't planning on... We only have one Snapcaster, so it's actually irrelevant, guys. We don't have a second Snapcaster Mage. We're not gonna... It doesn't doesn't matter if we play as a charm or not. We have no way to actually access the other card in the graveyard, so... Wow, aggressive. All right. I mean, if if we don't hit anything, we're actually just going to Supreme Will here. Or if they don't play anything, if they don't cast anything, we're just going to Supreme Will. We also have Raging Ravine, so that's a thing. All right. We are at three. What are you going to get? What are we? What are we getting here? Bloodbraid Elf, Tarmgloyf, none of these cards are any good. We'll just take the Bloodbraid Elf, I guess. That is four blanks, so that's a thing. Lightning Bolt, Courser of Crew Fix. <sighs> All right. Let's see if their last card is a dude. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, all right, sweet. Whew, a little bit close. Wasn't our wasn't our finest plays, but is it Staticaster seems okay? What does he kill? Rattle chains, and that's pretty much it. Doesn't kill Captain, doesn't kill Spell Quiller. Two angers can definitely come in. Noble Hierarchs can go out if we're playing angers. Disdainful stroke seems bad. I'm not gonna bring an ancient grudge because they have Aether Vial. Like it just doesn't see it's not a it's not a good deal for me. Uh I do like Cryptic Command. Lightning bolts are MVPs. I think Blood Moon's probably pretty bad here. I'm bringing one Thrag Tusk, I can see that. Actually Staticaster is probably pretty good. Uh, I like that better. Because they do have Selfless Spirit. Cryptic seems bad. I like tapping their team. I don't know. It seems fine. Having a good time. I mean, we're obviously not going to... If they have... Like, we were able to put them on Spellcola last game, and they had it. If they just have, if we think they have it, we just play around it. Like, it's it's not a super hard card to play around, because it costs three mana, or they have to keep their Aether Vial up. Um, yeah, I don't think Hierarch is great here when we're planning on Anger of the Godsing, though. I don't want to lose all our Hierarchs. Everything else pretty much survives. Tarmogoyf, Scavenging Ooze, uh, Tireless Tracker... Bloodbraid Elf doesn't survive, but we're not going to take out Bloodbraid Elf. So we took out two Unnoble Hierarchs because of the Anger of the Gods. We can keep those with the Serum Visions. I'm okay with it. Keeperino. So we have, like, the top four, five cards. Uh, turn one, turn two, draw off Serum Visions, and then the next two cards. So five cards could be a land. And we'll be okay with it. All right, so one down. We got four more cards. Uh, we'll keep both. We'll play scavenging. Yeah, we can put tarn on top and then breeding pool on top of that. So that is three lands. 
Good to go. Hitting anger off Bloodbird Elf does feel good because you're like, he's not in play yet, buddy. That is a solid, a solid cascade. Oh, look, it's your friend and mine. Uh, yep. Play this guy. I wonder what you name with Karen. Merfolk? Don't. Oh, dang it. So close. Yeah, this game, Blood Moon, looks great. Last game, they literally had Plains Island Island. So, yeah, now, of course, they have three non-basics. That would be fantastic to Blood Moon. Unless we're going to draw Anger of the Gods, right? Oh, no, we're going to draw Scalding Tarn, but I bet there's an Anger coming. get this guy let's get this guy jamming the best part about the spirits deck is that you don't really have to block there's no blocking to be done here so you ready for that spell queller Ugh. 100% drug skill captain does not have flash so unless you're saving a rattle chains. What? Oh, hi Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Oh, hi Mark. What is this? Path? Are you going to path this guy? Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. Give me all the lands, buddy. Island number 3, cryptic command. Rattle chains too? Mark into rattle chains. Path this guy too? Oh, dang it. You got it. Snore Crash, go watch a movie called The Room by Tommy Wiseau. Trust me, you won't regret it. God, these guys are so aggressive. Has anyone watched The Room and regretted it? Like, it's not a good, it's not a good movie. It's literally a bad movie. Like, it's, it's well known for being a bad movie, but I don't think anyone's really regretted. No one walked away and been like, man, I wish I didn't see that. Like, it, the, the experience itself is so good. Know what I'm saying? Kill your friend. That sounds real dark when I say it like that. You got it. We're Flintstone kids, a million strong, and growing. Oh, that's obnoxious. Um, that's actually fine. I'm just gonna bounce it though. Turns our permanent to its owner's hand. What else did I choose? Return, draw a card. Oh, that was a good draw, too. Oh, he died. Oh, bye, Mark. The description of the movie is not supposed to compel you to watch it. It is a bad movie from production to end. But, did you guys see the new movie Tommy Wiseau is making? It looks insane. It actually looks good. But the thing is, here's the thing. If it's as bad as The Room, it's still worth seeing. If it's actually a good movie, it's still worth seeing. Like, there's no... It's... it's He wins no matter what. 
it's such a great position to be in if you're Tommy Wiseau. So land, shoot you. This is where they go rattle chains, and then we can counter it because they didn't actually use the good mana for it. Negate. Oh, we didn't counter it because they use Cavern of Souls, which doesn't... Yeah, okay. There we go. I love that. That's my favorite thing. Why didn't you... Why didn't you counter it, you stupid idiot? <laughs> well, that's not how Cavern of Souls works, ladies and gentlemen. Um, What are we doing here? It's either Noble Hierarchy or we just eat a guy. I'm just eating the Drog Skull Captain and trying to win this race a little bit better. I mean, both are going to let us uh, attack for three... One of us gains us a life, uh, and the other puts a noble hierarch on the board, which is not as good. I mean, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana already. Can you explain how Fatal Push works? Okay, so Fatal Push destroys a creature with a casting cost two or less. However, if you've triggered Revolt, uh, which is uh, an ability that says whenever a creature, or whenever a permanent leaves your leaves the battlefield, whenever a permanent you control leaves the battlefield, uh, then you can destroy a creature with, with casting cost four or less instead of two significantly significantly good it's a good card it's a good card oh hi mark so now we can do all the things we can play you you have one card in hand all right let's see if we got it eat kill you don't have spell queller spell queller is real bad right here Aw, you, you put him in the trash can. Put him in the trash can. Fatal Push can target anything. That is correct. You can target whatever you want. Oh, I'm going to eat all your friends. Which is a weird thing to say. This is a 5-5? Five five? How many creatures? Are there two creatures in the graveyard? There's one selfless spirit, and that is it. That's unfortunate. So I can only deal six next turn? Moreland Haunt? Ooh. Well. Well, that's frightening. Bloodbraid Elf. That's not... That's nothing like I just asked. It's like you didn't even listen to me. I mean, we still win this race as of right this second, but I'm not feeling great about it. Well, that is unfortunate. And also, this is the Moreland Haunt ability as part of the cost. So if they targeted something... It's not even targeted because it's part of the cost. But if they if they chose something in the graveyard to exile, uh, we can't actually respond and exile it in response. All right, going to four here. They have two cards in hand. That's pretty scary because they can basically do whatever they want. Probably gonna eat their things though. Alright, it's not Drog Skull Captain, that's nice. It's not Spell Queller, or else they wouldn't be playing it. Is it just like. That's real sad. Wish I had a way to do something about your. Your second path to exile there. Noble Hierarch, it's on you again, buddy. Come on, Snapperino. Not Snapperino, Bloodbraid Elferino. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Okie dokie. Seems good. And by good, I mean absolutely terrible. This is where they just jam a spell queller. Block. No? Okay. Put you to six, I guess. Uh, we're 2-2 two -two with the deck right now, and we're up a game. It's not looking great for this game, unless we draw something absolutely spectacular into something else that's absolutely spectacular. But So here's the thing. If we draw Bloodbird Elf, and, we, and we're able to kill this Rattle Chains, they can make a 1-1 one -one out of it, putting us to 1. If we crack this fetch land, we actually just die to a 1-1. One -one. So... We're actually not going to crack the fetch land. We're just going to hope we don't draw a land. Like you do. All right. Three lands in a row, 22 land deck. Seems good. Wow, four lands in a row. All right. How about we do it again? Do we want the Blood Moons back in? That seems weird. And we already have Spreading Seas. Staticaster would have been great there, actually, because they just had X1s. Um, spreading Seas would have been good. We'll bring in, like, two Blood Moons, I guess. Two copies of your three drops main deck, because uh, main board is not a word. Um, I don't, be because we just are. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why you're asking me here. Um, I think Thrag Tusk is f fine. There you go. One Thrag Tusk is fine. I don't know how to board against this matchup. Like some cards are great, some cards are fine. This ca this hand is very good. Uh, turn two Tarmogoyf, turn one Noble Hierarch. Seems good. Twenty hours of work each week on these assignments, and I could be only ten. But talking to other people, I I agree with you. Are you gonna are you gonna path this? <laughs> Wander. Oh, that was a good draw. So we're going to go get a... I don't think we kill this guy, right? That seems bad. We're just going to suspend visions. Boom, boom, boom. All right. One, two, Tarmogoyf. The strongest Tarmogoyf there ever was. I bet they path this guy and we get a second red so we can go either Bloodbraid Elf or play both of these in the same turn. All of that's fine. It's all good. With that double vision. Here it is. Oh, nope. Just a Rattle Chains. Oh, just a Rest in Peace. Okay. Interesting. land give me a land you gave me like 15 last game cool well that's awkward I am not a fan. How about a land now? That's cute. Boy, I guess we don't have a way to get rid of Rest in Peace, huh? Who saw that coming? All right, well, we're going to try to hit a land off of this guy so we can keep up. 
Lightning Bizzolt. Oh, two lands. Okay. And a Scavenging Ooze. Basically a 2-2. Two -two. Still going to play it, though. If you want to block here, that is more than fine. Oh, you're going to crack something. Hmm. What? Really? That was I just kept two lands on top. <laughs> That's awesome. You done messed up, AA Ron! That's gas. Path the one one. Oh, Drog Skull Capitan. No blocks. They're tapped out. Good lord. Give me a land. Give me another land. You owe me so many lands. Thank you. I'll take it. What do you do? Put him in the graveyard. Trash can man. Could have lightning bolted first, and then if they don't actually counter it, then we get to blood we get the bloodbraid elf, but I'm pretty sure I'm just killing this guy anyway. Yeah, I don't like this guy being on board. So, just kill them all. And then next time we get the free Blood Braid Elf. By free Blood Braid Elf, I mean we don't have anything else to cast, so that's cool. Do 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 do. Oh, they didn't do anything. Intriguing. What up, Spain? That was an interesting take on the definition of free. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's a. Oh, that was a good. This is a. This is a beautiful thing. This gentleman. Oh, this. Oh, come on. Of course, we played the Remiss Reinforce first. I don't even know why we did that. I, I'm such a fast player. Not a good player. I'm just fast. Let's play everything as soon as we can. Wouldn't we call this? Wouldn't it be a better scavenging bear? I mean, if they had spell queller, they probably would have countered something rather than just chump blocks. So, I guess we just pass here. You gonna path this guy? No. Rattly chains, rattly McChainerson. You got it. Unfortunately, all of our creatures that would have been big at one point in time are now tiny. Now you did it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, no blocks. Three cards in hand, huh? Me too. Two cards in hand. Deal. One card in hand. Okay. Cracking you now to get... What do we got? Blue, blue, red. Probably a green source. Yeah, we're not terribly concerned with uh, Blood Moon at this point, even though we're going to draw one right now. Ready? Oh, that's a good dude. One, two, three, four. 
Still one land shy of doing so they block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Depending on what we hit. Okay. Yeah. Land on top, maybe? Oh yes. Oh, that that might be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Always yield to both of these dudes. And I think we might have a might have a game here. Crack you. Just get a basic here. Not about that taking a million damage life. Look at all my clues. Blue, this one, red, static caster. We can't pump scoos, there's no graveyards. And again, I can't imagine they have Spell Queller here. So it's got to be Path, right? Or they're dead. All right, sweet. Got him. All right. Well, that was pretty sweet. Okay, so first first couple rounds didn't, didn't go well. Um, I was kind of not focused at all, so that was my fault. Um, definitely made some misplays. Kept a hand with no lands, which was pretty sad. Um, totally my fault. I also misclicked a couple other times, made some questionable plays. Wasn't used to the deck. And this is something that happens until I get familiar with all the cards that I'm going to be drawing. Um, because it's hard to figure out, well, for me anyway, it's hard to figure out like what I'm expected to do. Like, so I'm playing a deck and I don't know what's like if I blood braid elf, I don't know what I could potentially hit. Or if I serum visions, I don't know what I could potentially draw. So there's definitely some merit to like playing a deck a few times before you actually try it out seriously. Um, which is why once I hit game three or match three, it felt like I was a little more comfortable with the sequencing of plays and what I should be doing. But then I'm still doing things like playing a land when I could hit a tireless tracker, I could hit a courser. So um, that's just going to happen because I play fast. Either way, this was a deck that uh, we tried out because Iron Chef Sammy, uh, subscriber Iron Chef Sammy, wanted would, wanted to play a, a team or moon deck, but didn't have Jaces. So he was trying to test this deck out, see how it, see how it was going to do. I think he's going to play it at a, a live event. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and it's Monday, probably tonight. So I wanted to give it a run through and see how it performed without Jaces. So, um, you know, looking at the deck now, I think it seems fine. I really uh, didn't have too many problems with it. I think the first few rounds were a little rough, but I think that was more on me than on the deck. Um, Supreme Will was good. I don't know if it's great, though. Um, I might just want to have more, more value cards. Um, I couldn't really think of anything that that I would really change completely. Like the deck seems fine. We have Blood Moons, we have uh, Serum Visions is good. Ancestral, I like an Ancestral Vision a lot. Is it Charm and Supreme Vert, Supreme Will were probably two of the cards that I was the most questionable about. And I understand why you put them in there because they're counter spells that you can hit off of a Bloodbraid Elf and still uh, activate them. Right? You can still use their modes. Like you can still hit a guy. Um, you can still hit, uh, you can still Supreme Will and Impulse, which is kind of cool. Maybe more Spreading Seas, which makes Bloodbraid Elf more like a cantrip, or maybe even more like Courser slash Tireless Tracker, guys like that, because they're both very good. Um, I'm not sure. I did like the sideboard. I liked the deck. I think it was, I think it was fine. I think it's, I think the cards are good. Um, but yeah, seems good. If you guys are interested in having me critique your own deck, please be free, feel free to check out my Twitch profile. It has information on how you can do that. Basically, I'll run it through a league. I'll give you feedback. I'll critique the deck and uh, give you any thoughts I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.